Andre Villas-Boas is prepared to accept that Luka Modric will leave Spurs. Speaking to the press, Villas-Boas admitted that interest is high in the Croatian star. You know, Luka's commitment was never in doubt uh, whilst he was at Spurs. He was a player that always dragged interest when he was here because of, of, of the quality that he has. I think now it's up to, uh, to, to the chairman to decide uh, what, is, uh, what is the best interest of the football club. Spurs will now turn towards a replacement for Modric, with Joao Moutinho in the frame. Villas Boas coached Moutinho back when he was manager of Porto and sees him as the perfect player to spearhead the new team he is crafting at Tottenham. West Ham's shock move for Andy Carroll has really opened up the floodgates as a frenzy of transfer speculation now surrounds the Liverpool striker. Sam Allardyce has been given the green light to start talks with taking Carroll to East London, but whether Liverpool want to loan the player or sell him off remains to be seen. Newcastle are rumoured to be making a 10 million bid for Carroll to return him to his former club, only for £25 million less than what they sold him for. A crafty move indeed, but perhaps not as crafty as that of Martin Yole. Rumours abound Fulham will try and secure Carroll on loan by offering American forward Clint Dempsey to sweeten the deal. Chelsea appeared no closer to landing Hulk after the Porto striker strongly denied that he had signed for the Blues. Hulk stated that he has had no contact from the Champions League winners and is committed to his four-year contract with Porto. If Chelsea do want him, they better get in there quick. Hulk is part of the Brazil squad competing at the Olympics and if he shines there, his transfer fee could skyrocket.